Are you starting to get sick of all these brands pandering to Lunar New Year just to sell you more stuff? This is a question that is being debated on the internet right now. You know, every February, I think that the Chinese culture's image in the West is getting better, but uh, I've come to the realization they're just after some more cheddar. We got to talk about it, Andrew. Lululemon is under fire because they launched a huge, big money ad campaign with Michelle Yeoh oh. promoting Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year. The Asian queen of actresses, Michelle Yeoh. Uh, Chun Yo Chun Tian. Yong Chun Tian. All right, should we play a clip of the commercial? Let's go. Rang 找到彼此，春天是身心降雨后的每一天。my goodness, Andrew, is this I, pandering to the mandarins? <laughs> is this lit? Uh, you got a range of opinions and people getting pretty heated over athleisure in 2024. Right. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Uh, check out Small Us Sauce for the Lunar New Year. If you use Dragon 15, you will get 15% off. This is how we celebrate the Lunar New Year, David. I'm not, I don't, we don't have a new edition of Small Us, just the same edition. Dragon 15, you get 15% off. I'm telling you, you could have it at a, a friend function, more than likely a family function, and that will be better than any of the products we're about to pop up on the screen right now for the Year of the Dragon. Long Yen. Andrew, are you sick of this? Is this hype? Is it lit? Because they did Crouching Tiger hidden spandex pants. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody's coming out with their shoes, their watches, the wallets, that everything is Chinese New Year theme, Lunar New Year. Um, but I, I got, I'm personally pretty sick of it because I haven't bought into it that much. I like the fact that people are celebrating it, I guess, because that makes it feel like Lunar New Year, which is a significant holiday to Asians, right? That... You know, it's being acknowledged and celebrated, but I don't care for all these items, man. Every year, it's just red and gold, everything. And I'm just like, guys, if you didn't buy last year's red and gold watch, are you going to buy this year's red and gold spandex? Are you going to buy next year's red and gold hoodie? Like, how well, many? No, you're going to buy it this year because it's going to be a good animal. It's going to be the dragon. Next year is going to be the snake. Nobody want to buy things with a snake on it. Yeah, so I think that, here's my opinion, Lululemon has been under some controversy. Which what, due to Chip about Wilson, it. right? Because Chip Wilson, the former founder, he was the founder of Lululemon, but he is no longer part of the company. He just owns part of the company, but he's not part of the operations, right? Right. He's been talking crazy, saying racially insensitive things. There's definitely been some other racially insensitive things that Lululemon has done towards Asians. So I think they're just trying to hire- oh, Are you talking about bad fried rice? The bad shirt, fried rice. No, this was a shirt that was promoted by one one of the art directors, but he got fired. Right. So this was not an official Lululemon shirt, by the way. It's not real, but it was like promoted as a joke and it was a bad joke. So I think they're just trying to hire the queen of all Asian actresses, Michelle Yeoh, to make up for it. Right. And and obviously... Well, you know, Lululemon, they used to say they didn't need celebrities, but here they are, Michelle Yeoh. Well, they Yo, need an hey, Asian celebrity. They're... 
oh yeah, don't you know, we're trying to patch things up with the Asians because we know that the Chinese, boy, do they love their Lulu. Mm. Um, at least they can say it, unlike the Japanese. Um, you know, I'll say this, man, with all these products, you know, that, that the Lululemon thing, I could see why it's controversial specifically because if a brand, Andrew, is like embattled under some racial controversy, of course, them then add seemingly with them super hyper embracing the culture. I believe they're in like Jiangsu somewhere filming this. Yeah, they got the Wing Chun dancers <laughs> and they're doing, it's so, it almost just like. No, it was like almost OD, right? You know, their other uh, celebrity endorsements are Jordan Clarkson and I think DJ Metcalf and Connor, but there's NHL, NFL, hey, NBA Jordan Clarkson, stars. part Asian, part yeah, Asian. Yeah, 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 but I'm just like, guys, like all of a sudden, you know, Michelle Yeoh, I think you're just trying to win the Asians over. Andrew, do any of these brands really care about Chinese culture? What would that look no, like? Would that dude, be like dude, actually sponsoring some families to like get together in some sort of uh, parochial, like village, colloquial days type thing? There's no stories being told. They're not highlighting uh, people that you know, interesting Chinese people. They're just picking the stars, paying them money, just trying to sell stuff. I just, I'm tired. It's not that I'm against like cool stuff. I like cool you're, stuff. You're against red things. You're against the red and gold. Cause like, I know that's how y'all like to not, dress like a little Hong Bao, if, just, but put Hong Bao eyes, everything. If any brands out there that are cool, want to send us their cool Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year edition stuff, I will still take it. But I'm getting kind of tired of a lot of the designs because they're just, they're tasteless. They're not good. Well, a lot of it is just based around uh, materialism, consumptionism, you know, some Sung or Tang dynasty decor that has been juxtaposed on top. Yeah, yeah. So, so David, how does it make sense if the core, let's just say in a joking way, like what Ronnie said, let's say the Ronnie Chang, when he said like the core of Chinese New Year is I hope you get rich, get rich, get money, right? Be prosperous, right? That is right. the general message how does buying things get you more rich buying things you can't resell well you know what they say that buying year of the dragon things will bring you a more auspicious year of the dragon so who, said, kind that? Of, who said that well that's what i see who on the, said that that's what i see on the copywriting who said that buying the chinese new year lululemon is gonna bring you luck no what about the godiva set what about the Legos? What about the Fossil Watch? What about the Nikes? What about the 70 trillion items that you could get in it red and gold? Won't bring you luck. It's just to be cool, so just buy it to be cool, not for the luck. Listen, text your mom, text your dad, call your grandma on FaceTime. That's gonna mean guys, a lot more if you really wanna actually guys, celebrate we gotta swing the, the true meaning of Chuan Tian. Yeah, it went too far into the materialism, man. We got to bring it back, guys. Got to bring it back, guys. Just bring it back to the Hong Bao and, and family dinners and a little bit of the dancing, man. Let's <laughs> just bring it back to that. Dude, oh my goodness. Anyway, let's just get into the comment section. Somebody said, you know, for me, I just love Lulu a little more. This campaign is so relaxing. Unlike other brands just slapping red everywhere and call it Chinese New Year. So this was a little bit of her criticizing the other brands, but bigging up Lululemon because there is a lot of Wing Chun, uh, Wing Chun in it and things like that. Sure, I guess. I guess this wasn't the worst ad. Andrew, are you buying this Lululemon Wing Chun clothes because you do martial arts? I'm just saying they have a Wing Chun collection, apparently, in the color red for Long Nian. No, I don't think I'm going to buy it. Um, some people were just talking about arguing, Andrew. The, like, basically, some people were saying they love Lululemon that are Asian, and other Asians were like, what? You're supporting a brand that is racist against Asians? Why would you do that? And people are firing back and forth. Mm. Um, why do you think Asians ride so hard for Lululemon? But then some people are also, like, so on the anti-Lululemon train. And how did this end up being this way? Only Asians have this polarized in opinion. I don't see any other groups fighting over Lululemon. I don't know. I don't know if the uh, Latino Americans are fighting over Lululemon like this. I don't even know if white people are. Uh, somebody just said, congrats. People want to cancel everything and not give brands a chance to change their narrative. Michelle is the ultimate ideal brand ambassador for a high-end fitness brand. No, like I said, Michelle Yo is a great pick for this. I'm not falling for it, though. 
Right. Um, of course, people were questioning Michelle Yeoh's decision. Somebody came through and said, Wing Chun has been practiced by Cantonese for centuries. Why would you do this ad in Mandarin? This is out of context. Lululemon has made a huge mistake. Well, obviously, he probably said it in a Canto accent, to be honest. And then, of course, this went back and forth. Everything is politicized nowadays. Everybody was saying that Michelle Yeoh sounds a lot better when she speaks Cantonese. Her Mandarin is a little stiff. I do agree with that. Her Mandarin... Her Cantonese sounds better than her Mandarin. Um, a lot of people were just like, dude, just what, what's going on right now, Andrew? Where do you stand on this? Where do you stand on this Lululemon Wing Chun ad? It was a good ad. I'm just not falling for it. It was a well done ad. It was, it was. It was a well done ad. It was well done. Um, ultimately, man, I'll just say this, guys. The consumerism around Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, it's out of control. Yeah. It's out of control. I mean, I think that really it's a time to honor, honor your ancestors, your family. If the products help you do that, by all means, I, I could see, because I always say the modern moon cakes with the ice cream in the middle, they make it more fun because you can like share it with your friends and with, you know, other people in a more universal way. Yeah. I'd like to see more restaurants do more Lunar New Year packages. I would mm. do that because I might not be... You know what I mean? Like, I want to eat a Lunar New Year dinner at a Chinese restaurant. Like, they need to have that special set. You know what it is? If Godiva, Andrew, is going to release 600 sets of Lunar New Year chocolates, they, cha they can't not just be gold, red, and jade colored. How about the flavors inside of the chocolates have some Chinese flavoring? Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't be lazy. Go come up, do some R&D, come up with a new recipe, come up with a new flavor. Uh lychee flavor never wrong to go lychee never wrong like what if a little lychee nougat and by the way the i know that not only chinese people celebrate chinese new year or lunar new year you know a lot of vietnamese yeah, for, for Tet, korean Salil. Salil. Yeah, yeah. but i'm just saying you know let's be honest the companies is going for the chinese yeah 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 i mean i i do feel like i feel for some of the my viet friends who also celebrate lunar new year very hard that you know but then the companies they're not they're not marketing to the viets Right. They're gonna you think they're looking for like a Lego version of the gambling shrimp game? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. guys, listen, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For me, I'm so over all the consumerism. I used to buy a lot of the, the year of the Zodiac animals, uh, Nikes, back when like no other companies were doing it. Nike used to make the year of the rabbit Air Force One look like a rabbit. Nowadays, they might release 45 versions and just throw like a little rabbit on the heel. There's just no more thinking that goes into it. When was the last time you bought something Lunar New Year themed and then you got complimented on it after New Year's? No, because usually they're ugly. Like nine out of 10 times. All right, everybody, let us know in the comments down below. Are there any Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year items that you are going to buy that are like, you know, kind of, you know, just, just, you're just trying to spend money or are you sick of it too? And how are you going to celebrate it? Just tr maybe this traditional way, maybe... Maybe back to tradition, man. All right, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Check out Smala Sauce Dragon 15 for 15% off. Order it right now. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.